Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this lesson, you will learn how to insert text into objects in your slide. In PowerPoint, you can add text to slide placeholders, text boxes, or shapes. Many times when creating presentation slides, you will simply enter the text for the slide into the text and title placeholders that are included as elements in the slide layout. However, you can also add additional text to text boxes or shapes that supplement or enhance the slide. Placeholders, text boxes, and shapes that contain text have two distinct modes that they use. First, they are objects in themselves, so they can be formatted, edited, and moved as objects. Second, they must also allow you to edit, add, remove, and format the text that they contain. In PowerPoint, this is accomplished by using two different modes for its text-containing objects. This way, you can apply changes to the entire object, or to only the text within the object. In PowerPoint, the object's mode is shown by its border. A border that is composed of dashes denotes that the placeholder is in text edit mode. When you have a placeholder in this mode, you can select and change any text inside of the object. A border that is solid indicates that the object is in object mode. The object itself, including all text within it, is selected and can be modified in this mode. Therefore, you should be aware of what mode the object is in before performing a task or applying formatting. You can click directly on the border of the object in order to place it into its object mode. You can place your mouse pointer over any of the text within the object and then click to place the insertion point into the text to switch the object to text editing mode. You can then click and drag over the text to select it and perform editing and formatting tasks to the selected text. Now let's examine how you can add text to placeholders, text boxes, and other shapes in your presentation slides. Now normally, when you insert a slide and choose a slide layout, you simply click into the body text and title text placeholders and enter your desired text. The advantage to adding text to slide placeholders is that the text will then appear in the outline view of your presentation. So if using outline view is important to you, then ensure that the text that you want to have appear in the outline is entered into slide placeholders. We will examine using placeholders, slide layouts, and slide masters in a separate chapter. For now, it's enough to understand the subtle difference between slide placeholders and text boxes or text containing shapes in your slide. Now if you don't care if the text that you're adding to the slide appears in the outline view, then you can simply insert it into a text box or shape within the slide. First though, you will need to learn how to insert text boxes and shapes into your slide. To insert a text box, just click the text box button that appears in the text group on the insert tab within the ribbon. Then click and drag over the area within the slide where you want to insert the text box. It will insert itself in text edit mode so you can immediately type your text. You must type some text into the text box because if you do not and then you click off of the text box, PowerPoint will remove it from the slide. You can add text to a shape that you've drawn within a slide by simply clicking the shape in order to select it and then typing your desired text. To insert a shape into your slide, click the Shapes button that appears in the illustrations group on the insert tab in the ribbon 
Then click on the shape that you want to add from the drop-down menu of Choices. Then click and drag over the area in your slide where you want to place the shape. It will insert itself once you release your mouse. It will already appear selected in the slide once it's inserted, so at that point simply type the text that you want to add to the shape. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.